you know, he had a period back in September where he maybe was listening to his advisors a little bit more, and he really stayed focused, and You're there right. wasn't a lot of this stuff going on to grab everybody's attention, and he did well. So why would he not be doing that at what couldn't be a more well, crucial time? Uh, well, uh, point well taken, but also, the, as you've just said, as you said, the media, though, it's just, it's just been, <laughs> it's been incredible, the, the attacks over the past few weeks, um, and he's not going to change his MO with regard to, to responding to those attacks because this is him. You saw it in the debates. Now you saw a third debate. But, Pretty Governor, good it's, gonna, it, it's preventing him, perhaps, from, from accomplishing well, that's his the goal. Issue. And it, is it, that frustrating to supporters like you who, you know, you know, I, I just can imagine that that must be pretty tough to watch. Well, listen, you're talking about, again, my notes here from, from the uh, contracts, from infrastructure and, and climate change and repealing Obamacare and immigration reform and tax reform and corporate, as a former governor, uh, making uh, Medicaid you know, a state function. These are all great ideas. They're, they're substance. They're real. It's important. Your, your other report, and Steve really, really put it best, it, it's... It's, we have a lot of material to deal with, and it's also the all uber left on steroids. Elizabeth Warren wants to vet Hillary Clinton's appointments to her cabinet. Are you kidding me? Talk about four more years of Obama. This is, this is really the, the uber left on steroids, and that's what hopefully these last few weeks we can focus on, Martha. To the extent we don't, it's our problem. Our campaign will fail. Yes. America will fail. But he needs to do it, and all of his surrogates need to do it, and his campaign needs to do it, certainly.